Welcome to Artist Spotlight. Today I'm not introducing you to an artist, but to a collector. Welcome, Rory Pinland. Good to see you again, Terry. So we have an exhibition now, which you call the Iconic Art Project. Correct. And this is inspired by a particular location, China, the Shenzhen. I lived in Shenzhen, China for 15 years. My wife is Chinese, that's why I, that's why I moved there. And uh, within Shenzhen, in the Buji district, there is an artist village called Da Fun Painting Village. And there's about 400 different artists there. And it's an amazing place to visit. And they make all of the replicas of famous art that people buy online. So I would go there every couple of months and I would go look around the shops. And if I saw something I like, a canvas, I would buy it. I'd purchase it. I started collecting famous art. Uh, I was showing it to my students. I was a teacher, taught English in Shenzhen, and I would show them the art so they could see the classics. And before I knew it, I had 50, <laughs> 50 canvases. Um, so I thought, you know, if you go back to the U.S., maybe you can share this with people. And so these aren't fakes because no one's passing them off as the original, but they are uh, an artist recreating uh, famous paintings, Blue Correct. Boy, Whistler's Mother, The Girl with the Pearl Earrings, Mona Lisa, etc. Yeah, it's different artists. Uh, there's, there's a handful of artists that I really liked. They did really good work. And um, again, if I saw something, I like to travel to the real museums, the real art museums to see the real ones, the, the originals. And uh, if I saw something I really liked, I would go, hey, can you do that one for me? <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd pick the right guy for, some people do good uh, Van Gogh. Uh, some people do good Monet, you know, I mean, you, you learn uh, when you go through there who can do the best work. So again, yeah, if uh, this Rembrandt over here, that was one of my favorite uh, paintings by him. I said, can you do that? And again, they would make it for me, It'd take about a week and a half, and, and I would go pick up the canvas. Right, and not everybody can afford to go to Paris to the Louvre to see the Mona Lisa. Right, or Amsterdam to see Rembrandt, or, or, or to New York City, to the museums up there, or out to LA. Uh, they just can't travel around the world to see all the great art, the, the, the famous art. So I thought it would be nice to share it all in one place, you know. And this is phase one of the iconic art project, the first 27. Well, and actually, you can get up pretty close to the Mona Lisa here, whereas if you're at the Louvre, there's it's behind bulletproof hundreds glass. of people in front of you, all with their cameras up. Yes. And um, as you said, behind bulletproof glass. So this is um, a very interesting exhibition, and, and you're planning to take this on tour? Yeah, actually, when it's done here, it goes up to North Florida, to Lake City, Florida, and then uh, I'm hoping it'll go over to Tampa after that. Uh, so yeah, we're trying to tour it around and let everybody take a look. But this is the first place. This is the can first place. This collection that you've collected over how many years? I actually started showing you the canvases when I visited here in 2017. Mm -hmm. And when you saw it, you, you I don't remember the exact words, but you said, I think you've got something here, or something like that. And uh, um, you said, when you get it all together, let me know, I'll, I'll find you a venue. And I thank you for that. So yes, this is the first one. And you mentioned a particular Rembrandt that's a favorite. Any other stories about any of them that? They all have a great story. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, behind us we have Whistler's mother. Uh, she was not the first subject for the painting. Uh, it was supposed to be his next door neighbor who was a 16 year old girl. When her father found out that she was going to model for this painting, he said, no, 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 I'm not going to let you do that. So Whistler's mother stepped in to be the subject of the painting. I mean, it's, there's stories like that for all of the paintings that, that, that are here. Um, we have The Swing by Henri Fragonard. Um, I was telling somebody earlier today, nobody paid for that because it was so scandalous. The girl on the swing, letting her skirt fly up and her shoe fly off and the, and the man down in the bushes looking into her skirt. Yeah, the, the man who commissioned it said, I'm not paying for that. You know, so there's, there's something like that for every painting that we have. And the originals date from what years? Oh, back into the 1400s with da Vinci, you know, all the way up to uh, the 1930s here. We have uh, American Gothic by Grant Wood. Uh -huh. so. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an encyclopedic uh, study of classic paintings. It's a, it's, it's a quick lesson, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely educational uh, from, again, da Vinci's time on up into modern art, yeah, with Matisse and uh, Dali and uh, 
and Grant Wood. <laughs> and uh, when an artist, one of these artists from Shenzhen is um, creating a piece, are they also trying to um, mimic the brush strokes of the original? Yes, these are hand-painted replicas. So I think basically what happened, this is my feeling, is that they get a print done onto canvas and then they do the brush strokes on top. I see. And they try to, like you say, they try to match the brush strokes. That's why sometimes if you get a Van Gogh, it doesn't look right. Um, so the ones that I have here, they, the brush strokes are, are close to what I've seen in the real museums. I think it's a fascinating hobby, collecting uh, It's been classic. an expensive hobby. <laughs> well, <laughs> not as expensive as if, as if you were trying to get the originals. Correct. <laughs> uh, uh, but um, we appreciate you sharing them with us I here in Orange County. I appreciate you having me, having the collection here. Yeah. I've already had, as we're hanging them, I've had great response from people already about how wonderful it is to see these all in one place. Yeah, so, great. Super. That's good. That's good for me. It makes me feel good. Well, thank you. And thank you for watching this edition of Artist Spotlight. Hope you'll join us again.